Hi everybody, this is Bastian and today we're going to take a look at some variations of uh, the Pelican in the, the Sicilian. I'm playing at club level against uh, 1450 opponents. So I'm playing black. Game starts with e4. I play c5, the Sicilian. Knight to f3, knight to c6. d4. Pawn takes pawn, knight recaptures. Of course, now at this point, it's a bad idea for black to recapture the knight, because if knight recaptures, white can recapture with the queen, and there's no way for um, black to chase the queen out of the center. So, of course, the knight is not recaptured. I play knight to f6 instead, attacking the pawn on e4. Knight to c3. e5. So we're seeing the pelican variation of the Sicilian with the e5 move. And white plays the correct continuation, the book move, which is knight to b5. Now, if I would play a random move at this point, or uh, try to chase the knight away with, let's say, a6, white can play knight to d6 check attacking the bishop so I will lose the bishop pair and if I w uh, recapture with my other bishop white can take on the bishop on d6 with the queen and again I will have lost the bishop pair and uh, will be unable to castle so chasing the knight away right away is a bad idea I play d6 instead, so we are still following the book moves. And white plays bishop to g5. Now, I can try and chase away either the bishop or the knight. Let's say I play h6 to try and chase away the bishop. But then, white can play bishop takes knight, pawn recaptures, and knight to d5. And we can see that black, white has a strong attack going with a, a knight outpost on c7. So chasing the bishop away is impossible. I play a6 to chase away the knight. Knight retreats to a3. So we're still following book. And if I were to play b5 at this point, then we are in uh, the Chelybyinsk variation of the Sicilian. But at this point, I'm extremely annoyed that White has been following book moves all along, which means um, he's uh, quite familiar with the opening. So I play an out of book move, which is uh, bishop to e7. Now, if b5 were to be played, we can see that this knight is locked in and can no longer move freely. Uh, also, it gives me the possibility to uh, fianchetto the bishop if needed. But bishop to e7 is played instead, a passive looking move. White thankfully plays knight to c4 and now we can see that my bishop on e7 is becoming overloaded because it is needed to protect the knight and it's also needed to protect the pawn on d6 which is attacked twice at this point I can still rectify the situation by playing knight to d4 blocking the queen uh, from an attack to the pawn on d6 However, um, I am willing to sacrifice the pawn to create a more open game. We can see that White's king uh, cannot castle yet, so I'm going to play more aggressively. I simply castle, allowing White to take the pawn, and this will create an open game for me. Bishop takes knight, bishop recaptures. And now, 
knight takes uh, d6. So white is up a pawn. And this may not be mathematically sound, but it will be extremely tricky for white to continue playing. At this point, I play knight to d4, locking out the queen and attacking the knight myself, almost forcing knight takes uh, bishop on c8. I recapture with the rook, so I have a queen on an open file and a rook on a half open file. And now we can see it's uh, very tricky for white to continue playing. So let's say if knight to d5 is played, creating a knight outpost, then of course I can play knight to c2 check with a fork. So that can't be played. Um, queen to g4, for instance, developing the queen will lead to the same problem. So both the queen and the knight are uh, prevented from moving. So this prevents white from castling uh, queenside. White could try to play queen to d2 in order to castle queenside, but this would lead to bishop to g5 attacking the queen and making it impossible to castle queenside. And of course f4 cannot be played because that square is uh, covered by the pawn. Black white could try bishop to e2 to castle kingside. We note that uh, there are only two squares available for uh, the bishop to develop. But if white plays bishop to e2, I can play queen to b6, attacking the pawn. White needs to play a defensive move, let's say queen to b1. Now, knight takes bishop, knight recaptures, rook to the open file. White can castle into safety, but black has strong control on the open file and can play rook to d2, recapturing the pawn with a strong attack for uh, black. And if, say, knight to c3 to block um, the to uh, prevent black from uh, grabbing the pawn on c2, I can play queen to d4, placing the queen on the open file, continuing the attack, and there's very little for um, white to hope for. Let's say a random move is played, h3, I can play bishop to h4, uh, adding a lot of pressure on f2, or if, say, g3 is played to prevent uh, h4, I can continue with attacking ideas like b5 in order to chase away the knight and grab the pawn. Or I could even play bishop to g5 if a random move is played. I can create a rook lift to add more pressure on f2. Or I can even play bishop to e3 and of course the bishop cannot be recaptured because if pawn takes bishop queen takes check king h1 rook takes knight because the knight is protecting the e4 pawn pawn recaptures queen takes check king to g1 and queen to g2 mate so if we go back We can see that bishop to e2 to castle kingside will not work. So by sacrificing the pawn, I've created uh, a lot of issues for uh, white with an uncastled king in the center. The correct move for white to play would have been the tame bishop to d3, locking out the bishop completely and protecting both pawns and then castle uh, kingside. But white didn't find the move and plays f3 instead, supporting the center. 
I play queen to b6, attacking the pawn. Queen to b1 to protect. And now I can take full advantage of white centralized king. Knight takes pawn check, gaining tempo to bring the queen. Pawn recaptures, queen e3 check, and bishop to e2. And we can see that all white's pieces are uh, being protected. But we have a very strong compensation for the sacrifice. Bishop to h4 check. King goes to d1. Of course, it cannot go to um, f1 because of the mate. So we are forcing uh, the king more in the open, on the, the open file. And now, um, we have to look carefully at our next move. Because if he's simply throwing another check, like rook to d8 check, white can block with knight to d5. If I recapture uh, the knight, let's say uh, rook recaptures knight, pawn recaptures, and I bring the second rook in to create an open file, white can play c4 to protect um, the central pawn, and black is left with no attack. So rook uh, to d8 check. Knight blocks. Alternatively, we could try bishop to g5 to create a mate. But then the king can flee back to e1, which again will lead to a draw. So we cannot take out the knight on d5. We have to take it out before we do another check. So rook takes knight is played first. White recaptures, and only now can we play rook to d8 check, bishop to d3 to block, bishop to g5 in order to uh, play queen to d2 mate, queen to c1 to protect against the mate, and now I can crash through with rook takes bishop check, pawn recaptures, queen takes pawn check, forcing uh, well, not forcing, but um, white could play uh, queen to d2, which will lead to mate. But um, there are only two moves possible. King to e1 is played, leading to um, bishop to h4 mate. So that's how we attack um, centralized kings that uh, haven't castled yet. Uh, for instance, with uh, Pelican Sicilian. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please leave a comment and have a great evening.